Welcome everyone to the first video for the new Pleasant Valley 2015 map which will be released very soon once I finish this video series test out a couple more bugs it'll be up first on the Facebook site and then we will distribute it to some other sites as well to bring more players into the game uh, first thing I wanted to point out it does it is a very large map with a lot of content so loading time does take longer than your standard regular maps when you first start out in Pleasant Valley 15 you will be in the center room control room we call it which has access to six different farm sites the north room and the south room. I'm going to bring up here a PDA. Uh, as you can see around the gravel pit especially the little symbol there those are viable object symbols up in the top left corner you'll see some other smaller ones around the map basically the gravel pit has additional viable piles to increase your gravel production or sand production we'll call it the quarry now because it has a coal, sand, gravel, stone, and salt in the quarry. As you look at the map you will see that the sections are divided by color borders. Each of those color borders has one main farmhouse and several other buildings for storing equipment on the farm a little bit further away from the farmhouses as well as factories. Some places have cell points the way we run the map in multiplayer is player or players we have two to a farm operate their regions fields and their grassland and the additional uh, factories and stuff our players we pick factories that are closest to our farms but not all regions have factories not all regions have the same things as other regions so we will pick factories to run and my factory may be in another zone or another region but factories and cell points and this standard sheep pigs and beef or cow animals I'm not sheep pigs sheep chickens and cows are also public even though they are in the white section uh, there's a couple of other sections uh, one on the right side in the, that are surrounded with a burgundy color that include public fields that everybody helps pitch in. The biogas plant down on the bottom is in one of those sections with the freight yard and the cow barns and fields 124 and 125. There's another one on the left side of the map that the uh, red, blue, and yellow farms are connected to with fields 24 and 32 and the green purple and white farms operate public field number 87 which is the largest field on the map right along the right side of the lake area also in this map version we have a control K function that brings up the in-game bank where you can take and transfer money from in-game to your bank account by using the arrows selecting how much money you want you can do it in 5,000 increments or bank all button and it will deposit in your bank when you deposit in your bank you will notice up in the top right hand corner that there is no more money in my game this works out great on server play if you want to put money in the because it's saved it when you log off the game if you want to put it back in the game when you log back in you just choose the amount put it in the game and there it is ready for you to use again that's an optional feature it is the external accounts mod and you do not have to include it in your game if you're not going to use it you can leave that out of your folder another interesting feature we added is with the right alt and the L key it brings up a menu that shows you what each factory is if you're bringing back up the map you will see there's several yellow circle letters that correspond to where the factories are 
and it tells what is needed at those factories to make the products that are needed at the factory. All right, that's a couple of the new features. And let's go into the south room. Okay, here we are in the south room. As you will notice in these rooms, you will see a lot of dancing little green teleport arrows. If you go into one of those teleport arrows, it brings you to wherever that location is. You will notice there are gauges, and if you get close enough, you will also see the menu on the top left tells you what's in that factory. So this factory creates bird seed with millet, sunflower, corn, and power. But also the gauges are empty right now, but you can see that they are included on the gauge. There are ones here, such as the Frito-Lay, the Culligan, Sam Adams, many of them that do not have gauges. That is because it's a new game, and unless you purchase the factory, you won't see a gauge. Some of the factories start are you start out with because you will need to make fuel. Park Seed and Central Fertilizer do not have gauges because they're not running on the same script system as the others. And that will be the next video we will do is on the f fuel seed and fertilizer. But all the gauges for the appropriate factories when they are purchased or built will appear in the different rooms. You can go back over here to the central room, and we will head to the north room. So we have you teleport right in here, because after you get playing a while, you want to jump in, you want to get to a factory quick, you know, see what factories need what, because that's what you might be working on that day. You can uh, easily get to them before you start working so that's why we put the teleports into the control room which is actually located in the three grandstands of the racetrack so for those of you who don't like the racetrack it's staying it's a great place to hide all this wonderful stuff <laughs> uh, these here are retail locations like the Piggly Wiggly they take uh, products from the different factories and sell them over time on a by minute basis for those two. Don's Pizzeria is another factory that uses cheese, tomato, actually it's more of a retail store that makes pizza. The Board and Dairy also makes cheese out of water, milk, and salt, and the cheese, water, milk, and salt are displayed down here. Then you have a beverage mart, which is right there in the canola mill. I did not put gauges in here because many of these buildings take way too many products to put gauges on. But they do have the pop-up displays in this room to tell you what is needed. All right, so that's pretty much a rundown of the control room. Let's move on and go to a farm. Uh, that mod there is the PDA mod. I'm not including that in the mod package, but you're more than welcome to use it. Uh, gives you a, a different old style PDA, which I like by hitting the I key. I'll throw it in the mod package for you guys that want to install it. It's optional. You can always use it. does take over the place of the I key. I'll leave a link to this one. And you need to use Shift I to get to the old menu. It will work. There is also a Animal Barns plugin. That one only recognizes one of each Animal Barn type, so it's not exactly accurate unless you keep uh, separate animals. Let's go to you keep your animals growing at the same pace. Then you'll have you know you have twice as much. I am going to go to a purple farm. That sounds like a good one in the Pleasant Mills region. And you don't have to. You could always tab to the vehicles there, but I'm going to jump there through the teleport. And here we are in one of the farms. At the farms, you will see a board. It has a pop-up of that region's field numbers and what their costs and how many hectares are going to be. 
so you know what you have to spend to buy fields without running and checking every field. Uh, each farm has starter fields. Most of them have two. Most of them, uh, some of them have, or actually just the red farm, I believe, has one because it's twice as much many uh, starting, excuse me, hectares as the other farms. Crops that are in this version, your standard corn, barley, canola, wheat, millet is added, cotton, sorghum, sunflower, hemp, sugar beet, potatoes, sugar cane. Uh, the green arrows basically indicate that you can dump product in here if it's on the left, and if it's a green arrow on the right, you can take the product out. Red means you cannot put it in and cannot take it out. I don't know if anybody ever realized that, but when you get to a station, it will let you know if you can dump here and take out of this silo. Onward to the equipment. Starting equipment is very basic. Uh, we did start you with colored Brantners based on which farm. Uh, also in the crop types, you will notice we did remove a couple of plantable crops such as poppy pop and mushroom. This map has so much content, we are at the 64 fill type limit. Therefore, uh, we wanted to make sure we used crops that are utilized for many different, as many different things as possible. And other than selling and using for poppy seeds on bread, as an addition, poppy was just one of those ones that we cut out for something else to be added. Um, each of these barns, uh, farms has several, several buildings. This is a quick overview of the purple as I'm walking around here. Let me get a vehicle. I'll give you a quick tour of each farm using one of their tractors. We're on white right now. The white farm in Bear Island, for those of you who didn't know this, if, after doing some Google translating and figuring it out, Bjorn Holm in English stands for Bear Islet, I guess, which is a small island. So we just renamed it Bear Island because we literally imported the whole Bjorn Holm map into one small corner of the world here. And it's mostly the white section, so therefore we called it Bear Island. Just a little bit of history. The maps have changed quite severely from Bjorn Home, but you will get a gist of the layout here a little bit. Up on the top of the hill near the grain elevator are the animal barns for the white farm up here. And I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the area around the farms. I'll let you guys explore some of the additional stuff. You'll notice some flat areas. We included lots of areas such as this one here for placing greenhouses and just building makes it easier to have the flat locations. We have greenhouses that we'll go over in the mod section that are special greenhouses in the mod video that will be coming. And we tried to include different barns styles for each of the different farms. So this one here has, and plenty of it, there's plenty of storage for vehicles on every barn. This one does happen to have the doors by going up and pressing the O key. You can open barn doors on this farm. Let's jump into the back to another farm which was the purple farm we're now in the purple region which is the pleasant mills region and give you a quick look and we have it's also in part of the old bear island bjorn home area as you can see the river down there and it is a set we also tried to create many multi-tier uh 
you know, just a little bit variation in the land for each uh, farm. So it's not all flat like the original Pleasant Valley maps were. We really went into detail on the landscaping surrounding with trees. Every tree is on the map is cuttable and there are over 10,000 of them. Uh, fertilizer dispensers and seed dispensers each hold 200,000. They're on every single farm and they're empty currently. That will be in the seed, fertilizer, and fuel section. Uh, fuel tanks as well. There will be a video on seed, fertilizer, and fuel. There is a teleport back to the south control room, which is the main room that most people want to get to quick you can get to there from every single farm as well. This is all part of the purple farm area. Farms are literally large enough for several people to operate and you may want more than one person if you can fill up a server but we did six farms so smaller groups can uh, also participate and if you're really crazy you can do this whole map on your own. There's no reason why not just as a massive amount of content that you may never complete. Uh, here's a big flat area for on the purple farm for planting or putting greenhouses, building placeable garages or whatever you want to do at the purple farm. Over to the red area which is currently the farm I'm running which at first it wasn't the one that I was going to pick But I am really glad that uh, I started out here. Next time I start, we're going to switch up farms when we do a restart after everything has been fully tested. And we will be looking for, after the release, a few new players. We'll have more of that on as well on the website, the Facebook page. If you're interested, I'll let you know when we'll be taking applications. Uh, the we do have some qualifications such as a microphone because it just makes communicating easier uh the latest download expansion pack we do the IT runner pack is required other than that we're looking for people starting off first that put in hours hours to play it doesn't have to be done but we like to uh, the regulars on our map, some of them play eight hours a day. A lot of them are retired. Uh, doesn't mean everybody has to play eight hours a day or even every day, but it is nice to see people for a, a few hours, four, three, four times a week minimum. That's our main thing. There's a lot of testing that goes on. We need to get through some content fast this time around, but once we have a full crew again, we will uh, be bringing up the game start once everything's been just basically completed. We will be testing, uh, we'll be starting over, so we'll be bringing in new people. And you can keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, just running around the top here of the red farm as I'm rambling. There is another section to the red farm overlooking the speedway. Here down below is the animal barns for the red farm, which again has some more flat area to put your greenhouses if you so choose. There are two animal barns on each farm. Each farm controls a different type of animal, red farm being lambs. Lambs, pigs, piglets, cow, uh, there. Yeah. Let's go in and we'll look at them in the, the animal section you will see some additions of the pig, piglet, beef, calf, cattle, and lamb. Now granted the beef, calf, and cattle are roughly the same on the models in the barns because I'm not a, mo a modeler and eh, if anybody has any extra skills like modeling or animating or script writing when we are looking for new people they will be more than 
boosted up the list <laughs> to give us a hand in creating new content and new ideas and joining our team. Uh, but not a requirement. Our main requirement is playtime. So if you can play, want to be a part, we'll let you know about that later. Let's go to the next farm area. And where are we? We're on the blue, which is Sydney. Pull out of the barn here. Again, overall layout's different. You can see the two barns for animals on the hill over there. And he has his storage over in this building here. This is multi silo room, which is a little bit different. You pull up to this grate. Now, if I was to get out, that's supposed to open, but it's not for some reason. Now, I've never been on this farm. <laughs> There's the trigger. So I don't know where it is, but these guys do. Basically, it just opens up your grain silo area for dumping. You can actually dump with it closed. And pick up is behind the back side. And you can open up the doors on this building as well. Uh, apparently on foot. There we go. And drive in to low, see the piles in there for the different standard products. That is pretty much the blue. There are flat areas off here to the left and a lot of not planted area for storage. And they also have a, another relatively large flat area south of here. So it's not always right on the farm where they'll have their their building areas and stuff. But each of our people that are currently playing the map have tested it well these guys know what's needed and it seemed like they needed more storage buildings here a little bit further away than where their current farm is so we moved some stuff a little bit off-site but it's still in their region on to the next one up here in Pine Valley we have the yellow area drive right over the weight and again, another different theme, a little bit more black, darker building theme, huge central barn. Central barn for storing whatever. We originally had four smaller barns, and they were just so tedious with the equipment to get in and out. This barn, as your main barn, will hold just about anything. And what I liked about it, it actually is just a scaled up version of the smaller ones is that it has the overhangs on the outside for backing equipment into as well and you still have some extra buildings around the outside area and onward you might notice a little tiny bit of jitter as I'm uh, going around it's not lag it's uh the fact that I've got so much stuff running in the background including the video recording software that it drops a little bit on my computer it's not the best computer down here their silo for dumping up here a nice flat area for putting greenhouses or whatever you would like and down the hill right across from which is all the way down here right across from the uh, blue farm is the animal barns for the yellow farm a little bit separate area as well and there they are and lastly up in the top northeast corner of the map we are at the green farm and 
the green farm I'll just let you know right now it's a giant's bug that uh, they did say in the German forums that it will be fixed but placeable objects on the northern edge of the farm here could cause the game to crash for some people it didn't some people it did we're not sure what it is but it's said that those are supposed to be fixed but in to make it so that unfortunately the one guy that uh does have an issue with it crashing uh more than others is the guy that owns this farm so if you've had those problems in the alpha version We've made some changes, and what we did was moved most of the stay there, always there equipment, like the animal barns and the garages, over to the left, to the northern edge, so that down here, you're far enough away to put silos, and if you still have problems on this road here, or you don't want to put them on that road, you can fill in this area with your greenhouses, silos, all the placeable objects. There's plenty just outside your area right here. And actually, it's one of the bigger areas for placeables on the map now as well. So that keeps it out of the crash zone. And that's the way we currently fix the problem. And it works out. still looks really nice up here. And it expanded the placeable area of that farm. And basically, that is a rundown of the farms. Now we will get into the next video of operations, and from that, I think, let me check, well, I'm going to take a quick step back here and see what's in the silos. So the next video will be on the sea, sand, yeah, the fuel, fertilizer, and seed production. And we will start that video right now. So this one is concluded. Fertilizer, seed, and fuel. Next video. And come back for that one.